What's up? I'm Samira from Winter and today we're gonna talk about chord colors. For me, music is like painting and notes are the colors. So when we're playing a chord and we're choosing which variation of that chord we want to play, so if we're adding, replacing notes, taking away notes, we are creating the chord color that we want to use. I think it's cool to be familiar with the different chords you can use because then you can really choose and hone in on like the emotion that you want to express. I think there's such a palette in chords that it's really awesome to just be able to approach the guitar with those ideas and those emotions and be able to convey them in a clear way. So let's get into it. So we're gonna do major chord colors today, which means if you're playing a major chord, if you're playing a C and you're writing a song or you're jamming and you wanna know what other types of C chords you can use, um, I'm gonna show you three different options. So a major C chord is comprised of the root, which is C, the major third, which is E, and the fifth, which is G. Now the first chord color I'm gonna show you is a major seventh chord. And we're basically adding a major seventh note on top of that major triad. So this is the voicing that I like to use that's on the A string. You can also play it open. Or play it up here on the E string. The major seventh chord for me just feels really dreamy and it kind of has this like melancholy to it. In the case of C, the major seventh is B. And because we're playing diatonic chords, which means that all the chords are based off the notes of the major scale, we can just count up the major scale to find out which notes we want to add or include. So in the case of the major seventh, it's you can just count up C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and that's the major seventh. So we can just play it over here. Um, so yeah, that's a great color. Um, I also really like the major ninth chord. So the major ninth, we are getting rid of the fifth and we're just root, third, seventh, ninth. So for the major ninth chord, we're getting rid of the fifth um, because when you start adding a lot of notes on top of your chords, I think the fifth is probably the first one to go just so it doesn't get too muddy and you can kind of create some space for these new notes. Um, but we're keeping the seventh. So it's basically a major seventh with a nine on top, with a major nine on top of it. Um, the nine, I like to think of it as the two, but an octave up. So the two is D, so one, two. You can also count up to nine. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you can just see it over here in this voicing. We're keeping that major seventh, we're adding that nine. from playing bossa nova and mpb brazilian music they can really just add a lot of flavor to your progressions another cool thing about chord colors is the notes that you use in your chords a lot of the times are the notes you use in your melodies so when you're incorporating a nine or a seventh you can add those notes now more easily in your melodies and they can just inspire you in that way 
Okay, so the last chord I'm going to talk about is the sus4. So out of the suspended chords, that's the most popular one. Um, and the sus4, yeah, it just has this like open quality to it. So far, the chord colors we talked about we were adding notes. This one we're actually taking away and replacing. So we're taking away that E, the major third E, and we're moving it to the F, which is our four. So it just keeps it pretty open. So yeah, this chord is, when you're playing a C sus4, so it's C, F, G. That's it for today. Thanks for checking out the technique of the week. I'm Winter, and if you're looking for more tutorials, check us out on Fender Play. I hope you enjoy.